Hey everyone, what's going on? And it's Lost here with you guys one more time, doing a little bit of a tactical TDM commentary, one that I just made up. It's kind of a new thing I'm going to be doing. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Uh, I'm playing on Stadium right now, and I'm using the AUG. I got a reticle, I've got a pistol, I've got some claymores, I've got stuns, and I've got frags. I haven't really told you guys my loadout in a while, but there it is. Uh, and I do a little random reticle check there to make sure I know which reticle I'm playing with. I always, sometimes, will, uh, always sometimes, there's an oxymoron, but I'll always do a little random check just to make sure that I know which reticle I'm playing with because I do like to switch my reticles up. But to play tactical on Stadium, uh, there's a few things you're going to want to remember. Number one, you're going to want to remember to stay in a place where you have a vantage point. You're going to want to remember to lead your corners with stuns, and you're going to want to remember to put yourself in a position where you're getting the first shot. Now, I know most of you are going to be like, yeah, well, you can do that on every map. I agree. That's why I'm just showing you how to do it on this map, dick. <laughs> All right, so that's how you control you originally control an engagement, and that's how you don't control an engagement to follow up. Now I'm going to notice where they're spawning here. Everyone is spawning up on the top left corner or up there in the beginning, anyway. So I'm, I'm going to want to make my way over there. I don't want to go through the middle, but that's what I'm going to do anyway. So guys, if you're going to go up to a spawn point, make sure you're taking a safe route, or this is going to happen right here. Bam! Let's see that again, shall we? That guy made sure that he had the first shot, and that's why I lost that gun battle. He hit me first. I know it doesn't seem like he did, but he definitely did. He threw my aim off, and that's why he won. I should have been using some steady aim pro, but you know what? You live and learn, right? This guy drops out of nowhere like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle doesn't get anywhere. Luckily, I shot him down. I'm going to want to go back through Stadium. I'm going to do this a lot, you're going to see, is me circle around, go through Stadium to try and pick up a new route. Doing this is probably the safest thing I can, I can recommend if you don't see anybody on your minimap and if you do probably shouldn't uh, go in there guns blazing there's always the possibility of a ghost person camping in there but you know what there's really nothing you can do about that if you're gonna get camped by a ghost you're gonna get camped by a ghost guys uh, don't really discredit yourself if you do if you do get killed by someone like that now, this is the top floor of stadium as you can see right across from me that's uh, the window on the other second story building and I'm at window right now this is the big Achilles heel for this place because that guy will see you and take shots at me and I won't be able to do anything about it. Neither will you, unless you have a really good shot or have some serious, serious reaction time. Luckily, I do get lucky. I go back, I get him, make sure that he isn't getting first shots on me on the second time. That's probably what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to make sure that you're getting him before he's going to get you. Otherwise, uh, you could be looking at a bad thing. Now I have a decision to make. Do I get this guy right here, easy kill, or do I turn to my left and get the guy coming up the stairs? I made the wrong decision on this one. You should have turned to the left, let your teammate get killed, or possibly get the kill, and then get him. Now you're going to see me spawning again, and I'm going to notice that they're all up there in the same spawn area. So eventually I'm going to want to make my way over there. I have plenty of UAVs, I have no shortage of that, I know exactly where the enemy is. My teammates are doing a great job at keeping map awareness and map control. So pick your shots. You have map control. You know where the enemy is. Make sure you're picking your shots. That's what I'm trying to stress here, because I didn't do that on the first one. Luckily, I redeemed myself and get the second one. And running around corners when you're not paying attention is not the way to go. This guy is camping up there in second story of the stadium, where I just was, and he gets me. Not going to want to go over there again. Going over there again just to try and get a vengeance kill is definitely not going to help me either. So I'm going to put a few shots in the top story, and I'm going to keep moving. Go into second story building. And lead with stuns, guys. That's a big thing in any Call of Duty map, is to lead with stuns. I like to get my... Uh, my teammate and assist here, I could have got that guy maybe, but there you go. In TDM, you're going to want to get more kills than the enemy team, and if you can stun someone, even your teammate getting a kill, it's still helping you towards the overall objective. Another thing I'm going to mention is try and stay at a vantage point where I am right now. Right now, I can see enemies before they can see me, I have a great view, and I have shots down and I can get headshots before they can get them to me. So that's what you're going to want to do, stay at a vantage point, make sure that you're always going to be the one who's on top of your gun battles. Gun battles is probably about... I'd say it's about 50% of your game if you can. I'd say, well, gun battles are probably number two to map awareness. And I'm using low kill streaks, guys, because I think that using a chopper gunner and dogs is great, but if you can use a UAV and counter UAV, you're helping your team out more, uh, in my opinion. Then you can supply other people with their chopper gunners and dogs. Alright, little eye spy coming up here for you guys. Can you guys spot what I see? I'll see if you can get this right here. Alright, do you see it? Look very hard. 
There's an enemy in this picture, but where? Where's Waldo? There he is. He's not paying attention, and I kind of got a little scared, so let's see what my reaction is to this. I kind of freaked out. I cooked a nade, but you know what? It's still a safe move. Just in case he hadn't seen me, I did throw a nade into his direction. I can get him with a one-shot. No big deal. He's already damaged, and that puts me on top of that gun battle. As you can see, I noticed that this guy is up there in second story. It's a very popular place, so if you're going around that corner, make sure you're checking that. Making sure my teammate has some support here. He had no problem with that. But supporting your teammates is a lot better than going out and being a lone star. Just because you can stomp some pubs doesn't mean that you're going to win a game for your team. Playing as a team wins your game. Going through back stadium again, as you guys can see, I'm still checking my hallways, checking my corners. There's really nobody around. I'm checking for a ghost. Maybe at this point the team had switched to ghost. I should have used this pillar here for a little bit more cover, but you know what? I pop out and I get the easy kill. No big deal. Throw out my chopper. Excuse me, my attack helicopter. Still technically a chopper, I suppose. I see the guy that just went up top through my UAV. Thank you very much, teammates, for keeping up continuous UAVs. Get a uh, somewhat inaccurate kill. No big deal. I can pick up the last two kills here for the win. If you guys enjoy what you see, thank you very much and for watching. And if you do like it, some subscribe to the channel and have a great day.